Hello, my friends. I'm Professor Von Puppet. Welcome to Hans on Sex, Professor Puppet After Dark. Today I've got a special guest here in the studio. This is my new assistant, Miss Penny. Hello. Isn't she lovely? She's English, you know. I am. I'm an equal opportunity employer. I don't care if she's from an empire or anything. Anyway, welcome to Hans on Sex, darling. Thank you, darling. Is there anything I can clear up for you? Any questions I can answer or anything you'd like to share with the people at home? Yes. Um, sometimes uh, in the UK, yeah. we have situations where we might um, get into a threesome. Ah. Yes. And so um, because we're very polite... Yeah. When would be the right time maybe to bring up perhaps the possibility of a threesome with your partner? Okay, well, it depends. If it is you who is bringing up, if it's a pretty girl like you bringing up the threesome, okay, uh, any time is fine. But you better bring the girl. You should have the girl ready. Right. you got to bring the girl. Because you cannot demand to bring the girl. He is going to mess it up. Okay? Or okay. he's mm -hmm. going to bring a girl he's already got lined up, which means there's trouble in paradise already. Okay? This threesome thing you should talk about before you go looking for the partner. That is my okay. opinion, okay? Yes. If you're a man and you want the threesome, you've got to figure out a way to make the woman think she thought of it herself. Oh, clever. I'm not sure how you would do that, but I think it'll play better that way. Always make sure that your wife, your girlfriend, the threesome, you know, the number one of your threesome, knows that she's number one, that she's special, you know. Because you always want to make your lover, your wife, your girlfriend feel special. You are very special, aren't you? You. Can you tell me, are there any special slangs for the genitals in England that we might not know here in America? Oh, I suppose... Well, I don't know. I'm sure you guys use cock and... Cock, yes, we... Um, we say the old fella sometimes. Old fella? Yes. Old fella. Yeah, All old right. fella. The old fella. Or the old codger. The old codger? Yes. Okay. That's very old school. I see. <laughs> Um, well, we say Little Willie as well. We, little Willie. Little Willie. We, um, we had a TV show. Has it got show. to be Little Willie? Well, Could the, it just be Willie full stop? <laughs> well, the funny thing because is... Because you shouldn't really use the word little when you're discussing a man's genitals. You're in probably my opinion. right, yes. You should really just try to use words like enormous, <laughs> uh, awesome, uh, threatening, uh, uh -huh. pendulous, you know, stuff like that. <laughs> but little, no. Little Diminutive, is not, no, no, no. Uh, well, the reason it was because of a TV show. There was a really? there was a little dog on a TV show that was called Little Willie. You're kidding? Yes. It's a dog called Little Willie. Oh, that's right. I had no idea. You see, you learn something new every day. I taught you something about threesomes, and you taught me something about little dogs in England and why you call it Little Willie. <laughs> well, thank you very much for being on my show. Thank would you me. like to come back again? Oh, yes, please. Okay, if you would like a question for me, or for my good friend Penny here, just send it to Professor Puppet at rocketpictures.net. It's been lovely speaking to you. Bye-bye. Bye. Bye. Mwah. So what do you do it later? You wanna come you wanna hang you wanna hang around a little bit? Maybe. Okay, I'll make your cocktail. Oh. Let me just turn this off. Take a second. Hans on Sex is brought to you by AdamandEve.com. Visit now and enter the keyword Hans at checkout to get 50% off almost any item. Plus free shipping, plus a free mystery gift, plus three free bonus DVDs. Order today.